Hey everybody, I'm on today to talk about a fun nutrition topic and that is coffee. So we know that coffee is a really popular drink um, in America and around the world. About 60% of US adults are drinking coffee each morning. Um, so today I want to talk about some of the potential health benefits from drinking coffee and also some tips on how to drink it. So just keep in mind that I am staying on a general level with this and there may be some people who have health conditions um, that may need to avoid coffee. So first thing I wanna talk about is that coffee has antioxidants and antioxidants can help prevent damage to cells and might also act as an anti-inflammatory, which can decrease inflammation in the body, protect your brain. Um, so there's a lot of good benefits from antioxidants. Um, drinking your coffee black can give you the most antioxidant benefits. Um, coffee may also reduce the, redu reduce the risk of um, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even possibly Alzheimer's. Um, and again, drinking it black is going to increase uh, those benefits. Um, and if you're someone who is currently not drinking your coffee black or um, someone looking to work your way down to black coffee, I have a few tips for that. So the first one, if you're using a creamer or you know cream, heavy cream or anything like that, consider, consider switching um, to uh, milk and you can save yourself uh, sugar additives and you'll still get a good flavor. So you can do milk, you can do almond milk, you can do soy milk, um, you have a lot of options on that. And then you wanna aim to also lower the amount of sugar you add. So you could add a splash of whole milk um, or if, if that's too big of a change, you could start with half and half. And this is gonna take away some of the bitterness and it's gonna help add some light flavor to your coffee. Um, if you're looking for a really different type of flavor, you could try adding cinnamon in there and see if you um, like that taste. Um, cold brew gives a less acidic and smoother taste than regular hot brew, so that can be another option um, to try black coffee. And then one cool fact that I found was the timing of drinking coffee. Um, so your body produces high levels of cortisol in the morning, which is a natural energizer. It lasts until about 10 a.m. Um, and co drinking coffee kind of early in the morning can inhibit the production of cortisol. So if you wait to drink your cor coffee um, mid-morning, you'll see more of an energy boost as your cortisol levels drop. So you can have kind of that energy in the morning and then as it drops, you have your coffees, so you keep your energy levels going throughout the day. So I thought that was an interesting concept and I'd be curious to see if anyone wants to try it and see how um, it goes for them. And the last thing for today is how much coffee to drink. So the research that I looked at stated that about 400 milligrams um, per day would be a good limit uh, for men and women which comes out to about four cups of coffee a day. So I'd say stick to somewhere under that amount and keep your caffeine intake moderate to really get the most benefits. All right, guys, so if you have any more questions about coffee or anything else, please feel free to reach me or comment on this post. Have a great rest of the day.